Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to create a quick view button to our product card without app or external library. So this is what we're adding here it should be a quick view button. And when you hover to a product card, the quick view button shows and you should be able to click it and have this product with quantity uh, variant and an add to cart button and also with a view full details and it should still have the thumbnails and the main uh, product and also you can change the product by clicking next and previous button right here you can go to the next product on that collection and you should be able to still work with the thumbnail right here and and if we go to the last product so in here i have multiple thumbnails so we still have the uh, slider and it should work still and when we go to the last product it should show this word on um, this is the last product and you're not be able to click on the next button but when we go to uh, the first product in the collection it should also um, say this is the first product and you cannot click on the previous button so let's do this one we're going to have medium and then add to and then add to cart and this one should work and we should have two of the moon cycle right here um, with medium and you can see this quick view in any of the sections that use uh, the product card so mostly it's the featured collection the recommendation or the you may also like um, should show the quick view button and this one should also work with mobile so when we go to mobile um, customize and then we're gonna go to mobile this is gonna show like uh, an eye icon and the user is still gonna be able to click on those and um, this should still going to work but they're not gonna miss anything because i put a uh, scroll you can scroll in here so you'd even though they are um, long enough they're still gonna be able to see the whole um, product card or the whole quick view uh, model and you can still close that one and have another one and this button should still work if you're looking for codes that is not using any app or external library, just follow me on my YouTube. I'll be posting more videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe. Um, to start though, we have to go to our Shopify store. So let's go back to our um, admin store. So let's just go to admin right here okay and then from our online store we're gonna go to i just added this taste theme that is one of the free teams right now we're gonna click actions and then edit code and from here we're gonna add two sections so the new section would be a quick view and then create a section and we're gonna go to our website and then copy this code right here and go back to our code editor and delete this default code and control V to paste the code right here and use control A to highlight and then shift tab to reformat and then click save and um, next we're going to use um, Shopify uh, section rendering API it's from Shopify it's not an external library so we're going to use this to render this section template so we're going to go create another section so add a new section and we're going to call this one quick view template and then create a section 
And we're going to go back to our code right here and then click to copy this one. And delete this code and control V to paste and control A to highlight, uh, shift tab to reformat the code and then click save. And next we will add our CSS um, style sheet. So we're going to go to our asset folder, add a new asset, and we're going to name this one quick view. And then add asset and we're going to look for that file that we just created. So quick view that CSS and we're going to go back to our website and grab this code right here. And then control V to paste and still I'm just going to use the reformatting. And next we're going to add a brain to our section. So we're going to open the global.gs to add our script. And we're going to go all the way down and we're going to add this um, JavaScript right here. And we're going to put it at the bottom of global.js. So control V to paste. And we're just going to highlight this one and then shift tab to reformat. And also this one as well. And the next thing we're going to do is to find our product card snippet. So the Dolan team has a lot of updates and they've been changing the snippet names. Before it was product-card, now it's card-product. So if you have Dawn 2.5 version, you have to look for product-card.liquid. But for me, I'm gonna open this card-product and look for the first div that has the card dropper and we're going to insert our code right here so let's go back to our website and we're going to copy this code and control v to paste so this is the difference with the um, dawn 2.5 below and dawn 2.5 above so you have to make sure that you're calling card underscore product so it should be the same as in here whenever you paste this code. But I, I put it in my website on which one to follow. So here um, you're going to have this code right here. It was called product underscore card underscore product. So that's what they have in here. And make sure you copy the code that you have for your version of Dawn. And next, we're going to click save on this one. And we have to render this code in the team. So I'd like to do it on the team.liquid under our layout folder. We're going to um, put this code uh, before the announcement bar. So this is the announcement bar here. We're going to include a section right here. And we're going to have quick view right there. Okay. And then click save on this one. Now we could see this quick view in our team. I also added some customization um, that you can do with the button. So when you customize team and go to your team editor, you should see the quick view section right there, uh, right here in the very top. And you should be able to change the uh, background color of the button. So example, I'm going to do red and then I'm going to leave it on um, white. Um, it will not reflect until you click save. So when you click save here, it should change in, in here. And then you can also um, change the quick view um, label to whatever you want. I'm just going to change it to free view here. You can also change the background color of the pop-up model. So um, here I have white. I have white in here. I can change it to accent to or um, you know, the, the settings that you have on your Dawn team, then that would change it in here as well. And um, it should still work with mobile. And 
that's it guys that's how you added a quick view button in your um, dawn team and let me know if you have any questions and then i'll be posting more videos and don't miss it so don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching